Hi guys, this is Shuman from ASA Technical. Today I will show you by installing the Samsung 970 EVO Plus 500GB NVMe M.2 PCIe Internal Solid State Drive in this Acer Aspire E15 E5 575-50RM laptop. And also I will show you by configuring this NVMe M.2 SSD as a primary and fast boot device. So let's get started. In order to insert this MVME M.2 SSD, you will need to follow some steps. Step number 1. You first have to make sure that your laptop motherboard has an internal M.2 solid state drive slot. If your laptop has an internal M.2 SSD slot, then you have to confirm that the slot PCIe NVMe interface is supported. Otherwise, your MVME M.2 SSD will not provide the actual performance or maybe it won't work properly. So now follow the step number 2 to confirm that your laptop's M.2 SSD slot PCIe NVMe interface is supported or not. Now you have to download and install HWINA464 program to know the PCIe access information. I have already installed so I just open it. Now expand the bus directory. Next expand PCI bus. Now click on PCI Express root port. Next look for the PCI Express version and maximum link width. Note if you see the PCIe version 3.0 or higher and maximum link width 2x or higher then no problem. You can definitely use a NVMe M.2 SSD. But note, if you see the version 2.0 or lower and maximum link width 2x or higher, then don't buy this NVMe M.2 SSD. Because NVMe SSD uses PCIe version 3.0 and minimal link width 2x or the maximum link width should be 4x or higher, which is highly recommended. Alright. Once you confirm that your laptop hardware supports these features, then you can buy a NVMe M.2 SSD. Ok, to install solid state drive for a laptop, you will need to follow some steps. Make sure that your laptop has no electrical power and is cool and stable. Once you confirm, next turn off the computer. After that, unplug the AC adapter cable from laptop's electrical outlet. Disconnect any other cabling and remove all external device to the laptop. Next, remove the battery. If your laptop's battery is inside the laptop, then find a small pinhole at the bottom side of the laptop. Insert a paper clip into the pinhole and gently press for 10 seconds to remove the battery. If you don't find a pinhole then you have to open the laptop back panel to remove the battery. However, now remove the laptop access panel and locate the M.2 SSD slot where the new SSD will fit into. A M.2 SSD mounting screw will already be in place. Make sure to remove that screw. If you don't find a M.2 SSD slot then you might need to unscrew the entire back panel. Alright, now gently put the M.2 SSD card into the empty M.2 slot. Next, very gently slide into the port and fix the SSD card by screwing a M.2 SSD mounting screw.
Ok, once you done, next gently close the access panel. Next, reinstall the main battery. Turn the laptop right side up. If your laptop's battery is inside the laptop, then reattach the AC adapter cable. After that, just boot up your PC. Next, go to BIOS. Then you will see the SSD status on information tab. This NVMe M.2 SSD doesn't support HDD password. Now let's see from boot tab. Alright, as you can see, the device has been detected in the boot priority order list. So you can configure this NVMe M.2 SSD as a primary fast boot device. In order to make this NVMe M.2 SSD as a primary boot device, you will need to follow some steps. For detailed information, check out the tutorial link in description below. However, now let me give you a quick look how you can manage this NVMe M.2 SSD. Alright, at first go to Windows Disk Management to make this device online. Next you have to create a primary partition to explode this drive. Ok, now you can see the drive status on Windows Task Manager. To manage this MVME M.2 SSD, you have to download and install Samsung Magician. This is the best Samsung SSD management utility. We can easily monitor your Samsung drive behavior by using this SSD management utility. Like drive health status, temperature, currently using interface information, drive update information, firmware version, and serial number genuine status etc. You can check your drive performance benchmark from here. But please don't overuse this utility. Because performance benchmark just run your drive at a higher speed when it's not being used, which would only produce more heat. And overheating is one of the most common reasons behind SSD failure. As you can see, the temperature status is too high. So I will recommend you please don't overuse this utility. Well, here you can run a diagnostic scan for your SSD to repair bad sector or corrects any error. Alright, here a best option that can help to keep your SSD healthy. For detailed information, you can clearly read about this option. You can set over provisioning for your SSD which will help to improve the performance and lifetime of your SSD. Just select recommended option and click on set OP. That's it. Ok, here you can optimize your SSD but don't overuse the utility because it can generate more heat. Alright, here you can create a bootable USB drive to securely erase your SSD. Note, please don't use any other program to erase your SSD or don't wipe your SSD because it is another most common reason behind SSD failure. Ok, here is another best option by using this option you can encrypt your SSD. Then it will automatically enable a clean installation of an operating system with encrypted drive support. 
and in our next tutorial i will show you by configuring this nvme m.2 ssd as a primary and fast boot device check out the tutorial link in the description below so hope you will like of course let us know your opinion if you have any questions then please let us know please like comment share we need your support and guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you thanks for watching have a nice day